Hello and welcome to Garten von Ehren. Yes, I'm back at my favorite Allego station in Germany, in Hamburg. And look at this. It's a bit hard to read the display, but... There we go. 98 kilowatt start. I'll show you the station if you haven't watched my earlier video. One old fashioned charger doing Chademo type 2 and 50 kilowatt CCS. And two HPC chargers of which the left side can do 80 kilowatts because it has a regular old fashioned cable as I like to say. And the white one on the right can do high speed. I just realized that the white and black contrast is it wasn't necessary like this but somebody made this up anyway so as you can see the speed is pretty nice almost a hundred kilowatts and I just started um, and I can show you something because when I Let's first show you the charging display because it's so uh, not showing you anything useful. I mean, who wants to charge to 100% when you're at a HPC, but Jaguar thought it would be nice to tell you the total charging time. So, look traction battery fault detected did you see it yeah yeah warning about these open doors so boring light load oh yeah traction battery fault detected anyway that's because I um, pulled the plug on a cable in the back and I did that because the screen isn't working so the car is powered up here there should be the Jaguar logo and the air conditioning and whatever you want no not happening so yeah the good part is that um, when the system goes down like it has gone down uh, you can charge like crazy so here I can show you the charging screen normally the Jaguar starts to throttle the charge after two minutes but this is obviously software throttling the charging session and that software isn't active right now because half the system is down so it sucks because there's no music while enjoying the ride but it's also great because charging goes very quickly so it has its ups and downs I still don't know if I could choose between having the music on or charging faster what would I do I probably need to buy a better sound system to just m use mobile <laughs> sound in the car which is a waste really because there's a meridian surround system because this is actually the HSE and not only that it is a first edition hello um, so you have the custom paint job and and so on here meridian surround it shows only Meridian if you um, get an S or an SE version and you don't pay for the audio upgrade. Anyway, it's a rental. Uh, yeah, so I haven't been enjoying the sound system so much. But I've enjoyed the charging sessions a lot. And I have done plenty. So, yeah. Would I choose this over sound? Um, I don't know. It is... 
it's not great to miss all these options like if it was really hot right now it would be nice to put on the cooled seats because this car has cooled seats in winter I would have lost heated seats uh, yeah I mean luckily the air conditioning is on but you cannot put it at a better rate or yeah you cannot you cannot change anything it's just all standard procedure in the car but you cannot have it all I guess oh it's so windy should have bought this wind filter that my friend told me about oh it dropped below a hundred that's um, a bit disappointing really too early because we're only at 34% um, I had better results at the Fastnet charger uh, earlier on the way to Hamburg and I'll visit another Fastnet later so we'll see what the charging does over there meanwhile I wonder so in the fuse box I will show you it's hidden in the trunk or well hidden it's a big word but if you want that traction battery error, then you just unplug this big gray cable um, over there. Yeah. And if you unplug that, when the car is stationary and not running, like please turn it off. Afterwards, you get the traction battery error. I don't know if the screens will go off. You'll have to try for yourself. To me, it just happened um, because of yeah, who knows really? But the system was so buggy. I think this is actually a Jaguar that should have uh, been on the road since last year, and it only got a license plate in June through the rental company. I don't know. Maybe Jaguar was just looking at the car and then gave it to the rental company. I I don't know what happened. But I have the feeling that I'm, it was the software was still on December, November uh, last year when I got it last week. Um, then I did a software over the air upgrade that was at that time it felt cool to do it because I had been waiting so long to finally be able to push that button on the screen and to actually see something happen. In reality, man, it made the system even buggier than I ever had it. I, I couldn't change, change regeneration mode anymore. Half the menu would be unusable half the time. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they're doing at the Jaguar Software Center, but I love this car and the software is just, yeah. I, I've got no words really. Well, meanwhile, the charging rate is dropping significantly, which is too bad. I would have expected it to stay 100 till 50 percent. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why this uh, isn't working. Maybe it has been. I've been driving really fast. I've been charging really fast. Now I'm here. Maybe uh, the battery is hot. Anyway, I would expect to actually. I don't, there's no cooling system sound yet, so I don't think that it's really a problem of heat. So here you can see the liquid cooled cable on the right and the old fashioned one on the left. Anyway, time to go for some lunch because I will stay on the road. Maybe I. Maybe I close that one, but you know which cable to pull if you want to try this at home. The traction battery error, it goes away after a couple of days. It's uh, no big deal. I, yeah, I don't know if you'll get the same charging result as I have, because it could be just connected to the whole infotainment system going down, which might not happen if you pull that plug. The thing is that the why I think that it could help you if you want to try this out at home uh, yeah no guarantees for me then the the backlight of the infotainment system stays on 
after it crashes, which happened to me several times. Um, and to get that backlight off, sometimes the radio keeps on playing, even when you shut down the car. So to get that backlight off and to get the system calm, I pull that gray plug, you get the traction battery error, and yeah, then you get gray charging, which I noticed because I had been charging so much in winter, and then maybe you've seen my video that I shot in Denmark from two months ago. Um, and every time that I had this great charging session I wondered why it was and then I suddenly realized that every time the infotainment system went down on me um, before I got that uh, result now that I think of it I'm pretty sure that I didn't pull that cable back in December uh, although yeah, I have been looking through all the fuse boxes. No, probably it was in December. Still, maybe you've seen my video from December uh, that I shot at the Honda Charger in Frankfurt. Uh, back then I had no idea that I had the charging result because of the infotainment system actually bugging out on me. So, yeah. I'm still figuring it out. Maybe it's time to talk to Jaguar about this because the fact that these screens just keep going dark even after I reported that error back in December. Now it's September and it's still happening to me. I really feel that this is a, a car from the bad batch because like I've had I've had this error before but not on all the cars um, and I feel that it yeah that it happens a lot when they're older running on this uh, old software and this uh, this one is even on uh, telematics 14.2 still which then means if you use the cruise control man by going up and down in kilometers the it's just so quick to change it's like shifting gears it's super uncomfortable it wastes so much energy um, and Jaguar already updated this months ago but um, yeah it's not rolling out to these vehicles and this one apparently has a license plate since June so what is going on there I uh, I don't know I'm gonna go for a snack and um, I'll keep you up to date with the charging on my way home. Tomorrow I'm riding back to Amsterdam. And then it's over with the Jaguar for a little bit. Because these cars don't come for free. Thanks for watching Electric Felix. Here's the Garten von Ehren. I'm gonna try and find out where is their restaurant. I think it might be in the back. Ciao.